Hey everybody, Jim Jacob with Tactical Response. Thanks for watching. Uh, today we're going to, want to continue the low light series and talk about, uh, actually show you just a little, little basic uh, issue about how to properly use cover um, with with a flashlight. Now there are a myriad of ways to hold a flashlight and a gun at the same time, and uh, what I would recommend to you is to pick two. Um, for, for two main reasons. Number one, because no flashlight technique um, works 100% off the left and right side of a barricade. Weapon mounted lights, as long as you're not tilting them too far, uh, or depending on which side of the gun they're on, uh, may not be an issue, but handheld lights certainly are. So something to think about, certainly if you have the light mounted on the right side of your rifle or the left side of your rifle instead of underneath at six o'clock, that, that on one side of the barricade, if it's mounted on the right side, you might need, when you're going around the left, to turn the gun and lean out so the light gets out there. I digress. So for, for handheld lights, um, uh, I'm, I'm using, uh, showing a, for this video a through night uh, T30. And it's a really, really bright light that does uh, several, several different modes. Um, and so, and again, the whole strobe versus steady light, uh, I don't know. <laughs> they both work. Um, <coughs> um, Something to be careful of when you're doing this is muzzle. I'm using a you know a non-functioning gun. Um, is a, a replica. Uh, is muzzle limb interaction. People very often shoot themselves um, accidentally when they're fighting with somebody and like push somebody away while they're shooting and they shoot through their hand or, or you know doing something they shouldn't do with a flashlight or whatever. So so be careful of the the muzzle limb interaction. Um, so uh, Harry's technique, which is very difficult to do if you're wearing a watch. Most people do the Harry's technique incorrectly and it looks something like this. It should look like this with the backs of the hands together. And again, when I'm wearing a watch or at least a watch that's snug, um, it doesn't, it doesn't work well for me at all. Uh, <laughs> so I have to actually loosen my watch or take my watch off if I'm going to do it. Uh, but, uh, but this is the, the Harry's technique. Again, if you think about the, 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 the tops of my hands are f flat together. That's a correct Harry's technique. The other that I like is the FBI neck index. And that's where you hold, uh, basically I, uh, I, my thumb touches almost like a, a cheek weld on a rifle, but, uh, right there and one with the the advantage to um the fbi neck index is uh that um, uh if you don't have night sights it'll shine across your lights and uh, sights and light them up or illuminate them and uh and so not having night sights is a whole lot less of a concern um you are shooting one-handed but uh, that's life no no two-handed shooting uh grip really is an effective two-handed shooting grip uh, is if there's a light in one hand it just it doesn't work that way so without further ado let's go out to the shoot house or force on four shoot house and let me show you just briefly um about using harry's technique or fbi neck index around the left and right sides of cover okay so now we're out in the shoot house and uh this is where we do our force on force classes um and uh so i'm gonna use this this wall as a demonstrator and uh i've got a, a new uh, through night flashlight and i'll talk about that in a few minutes but um but uh left side of cover and right side of cover and uh you know, as you know uh as i've said you know you you have to know multiple ways to use a flashlight for instance and so um some of the more popular ways um, as I demonstrated, or like the Harry's and the, and the FBI neck index, those are my, my two personal favorites. So if I were to use the neck index around the left side of this wall, then the light comes out before the gun, just, just before the gun, and, or, or at the same time as the gun, no big deal. But if I do the Harry's technique on this wall, I'm trying to stand where you can where you can see it. Then now I'm shining the light on the wall and my muzzle just now clears the wall. So I'm shining most of the light right on the wall, not the not to mention the problems that could cause with self-blind. So on this, this other side over here, Harry's technique works great because now the light's out and the gun is out. On this side, the neck index would not work so well. So the technique that you use has to, to match what's going on. Also, um, for the Harry's technique, 
Doing it for long periods of time is very tiresome because of the, the, the isometric tension that you're putting on the back of your hands. It's very tiresome. And so knowing two ways will help you prevent fatigue, but also help you negotiate left and right barricades. So when you talk about flashlight techniques, um, so make, make sure that they that you're thinking of those two angles. I mean, there's certainly there's more than that. This is a this is a basic segment, but but think about that that uh, that left corner and that right corner and how you would most readily optimize your light and gun. So uh, that was it. Pretty basic. Uh, sorry the lighting's so dark, but when you're doing a low light video, it's kind of kind of has to be <laughs> dimly lit. Um, I'm using the uh, the uh, through night t30 s v2 and this is a super bright light uh, as, as you can see, see in the video super super bright light and, I, and i'm not shining at the, the video camera because people will cry when i do that but uh, it, it is it is very bright and uh, i'm not going to shine it directly at the camera but super super bright a light is this light has several different modes uh, modes of operation um so basically the strobe is operated with this white button on the side if you turn the light on you can rotate by pushing the white button you can rotate through different uh, levels of lighting with the push of the button now and when you turn the light off and back on it comes back on to, to the level of light you had it before so if you if you turn it down uh, for some menial task make sure you turn it back up before you turn it on uh, to, to use for real but uh, but through night is a channel sponsor and uh, you can you can find them on my Amazon store link below or you can go directly to through night which is also linked below uh, and order, order from them there but um, I'm really uh, I'm really digging these these through night lights and again I still carry my Surefire Lumimax and um, and they, they they understand they understand where they're at but as far as like a, a good a really good utility light something to throw in the glove box or you know that 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 spare flashlight or that extra flashlight beside the bed or whatever whatever uh three night does make good stuff uh, i'm i'm enjoying i'm enjoying your lights this is james jacob for response reminding you that your responsibility to be ready for the fight even in low light never ends